This is crazy. What we are witnessing is a classic spy versus spy story, but only in the cyber world. What our experts have uncovered is the first known example of a counterattack campaign in the world of advanced persistent threats. The story started with a cyber espionage group known as Nikon, which launched a number of attacks against organizations in the Asia Pacific region. These attacks exploded in volume during the search for the Malaysia Airlines flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing that was lost on March 8, 2014. Nikon hit several hundred high-profile target victims while searching for potentially valuable information about the incident. But not all of Nikon's targets agreed to play the role of victim. One of them decided to hit back. Last summer, we noticed a new threat actor, which decided to fight back against the Nikon group. We see his motives of this action gathering counterintelligence and finding out who the aggressor was using social engineering and quite unsophisticated intrusion techniques. The attackers hit government and diplomatic organizations for pure intelligence gathering in Malaysia, the Philippines, India, Indonesia, and the USA. Among the targets were the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Office of the President, and many others. We believe that this is an emerging trend where two or more cyber threat powers fight each other for control. One through attacker is a victim in a targeted attack, then decides to hit back, trying to identify the attacker and gather counterintelligence.